Hey, what's up, you guys? It is SpideyDeco64 back out again with yet a NASCAR news discussion. So today we're going to be discussing about this past um, race, which was at Kansas. And this was the last race of the round of 12. So four drivers will be out and eight drivers are going to go in to the next round, basically. So, all right. All right, guys, I'm going to have to admit this, but I did not watch Sunday's race. Not even, not even a single part of it, okay? Yeah, yes. So, yeah. But what about the big wreck that happened? How did I know about that? YouTube, yeah. They upload a bunch of clips to YouTube, and I figure out what happened. And I'm basically going to be talking about that today. Damn, I wish I could have watched that race. But, yes, anyways. Um, so... Mark Jokic Jr. started on the pole. Stage one was won by Kyle Busch. And, well, well, Kyle Busch, he did, in fact, needed some playoff points because, well, one, he was below the cut line because of his performance at both Talladega and um, Charlotte. It should have been Charlotte and Talladega. But, uh, but yeah, obviously, Kyle Busch doesn't make it. And Denny Hamlin. On stage two, but yeah, we got but yeah, we have to talk about, but yeah, around stage three, I think, like around like lap one or ninety nine, I don't know. There was a big wreck on the back stretch where Eric Jones, he basically, yeah, he crashed a few cars like Jim McMurray, who was a playoff driver, you know, you know Daniel Suarez, a lot of those guys, but uh. But yeah, pretty violent wreck. And to be honest, to be honest, even though they make and even though they make Kansas, you know, the elimination race, it's anything can happen, okay? Even though it's not Talladega, so So yeah, but anyways, um it's so yeah. So that was a pretty wild wreck. And then, obviously, Martin Trix Jr. obviously does win the race. Now, this is actually a special win for Trex and his team. And I think for everyone in front of Trex Racing. Because they lost Jim Watson, who was a pit crew. Who was part of their pit crew. And he passed away to a heart attack. So, yeah, that's pretty sad. And to be honest, I'm glad that Trex and... A lot of trucks won and all that stuff. So yeah, so with that, so with that wreck that just happened, how does that how does that affect the playoff picture? Well, all right, we're gonna talk about the guys who are out of the playoffs. First up, I think a lot of people are surprised about this. Kyle Larson, he's out of the playoffs. Which, to be honest, like, you know, a lot of people, we were expecting him to be part of the round of four. You know, or, you know, to make it to the last round, but... Well, no, he didn't. You know, to be honest, yeah, to be honest, I I really do feel bad, you know, for Kyle Larson. Because, you know, he could have been the 2017 champion as well. But, uh, it's kind of... It was just kind of disappointing. And plus, it's also bad because, you know, Target, because Target, they're not going to even gonna sponsor him anymore, I think. You know? Well, they're not going to sponsor him next year, but they're not going to sponsor any more races, so. For this year, so, yeah, that kind of sucks. So, yeah, now let's uh, talk about. And also, Jamin McMurray, he's out. To be honest, I think we were all expecting him to be out because, well, one, wrecked at Talladega, and we all thought he was going to win at Talladega, but, or run good at Talladega, but, yeah, but no. And obviously, Ricky Sounds Jr. is out. We thought he was going to go to, Ta he was going to win at Talladega too, but, nah, no, he didn't. But to be honest, I would have to give credit to, really, to Ricky Sounds Jr. for making the playoffs this year because, 
you know, for getting those two wins at Talladega, you know. First, you know, it's been a really good year for, you know, for first-time winners, I would say, this year. Oh, boy. Now for these next four races, Chase Elliott better get his first win before he, he switches over to the nine car. You know? So, yeah, anyways. uh, And then here's the guy who is obviously out. Or... He got out, he was out for a really stupid, stupid reason. Matt Kenseth, he's out as well. Let's actually add a bit more paper here to make a burnout, like, you know, effect. You know, he's out of the playoffs, too, and really for cruddy reason. And this is going to be on the title of the video, too. So, okay. So he wasn't involved with that wreck, but he wasn't too damaged. He went to the pits, you know, to get repaired, but 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 his crew chief accidentally sent too many guys over the wall, and to be honest, that ruined, you know, his playoff hopes. You know, but instead of NASCAR, uh, you know, like um, instead of NASCAR, you know. Saying, oh, you're going to have to restart at the back of the field. They're like, oh, no, we're going to, oh, no. You, you, you want to be part of the playoffs? No, nah, you're out of the race. F you, you know, like, that's kind of, you know, I feel like Mascar gave the middle finger literally to Matt Kenseth like that. And you should have listened to Matt Kenseth's radio. He was all like, you know. I mean, to be honest, I feel really bad for the guy. I mean, like, seriously, this is, he lost his ride. To some young kid, to some young kid who should be in the Xfinity series and not in the Cup series. You know, but, uh. But, yeah, it's just. But, yeah, it really is kind of, kind of stupid. Which also proves something else. NASCAR should improve their rules. Now, NASCAR, they did make new rules this year, but obviously, not many people are liking them. Plus, it's plus, this is a prime example of why NASCAR's new rules is stupid. You know? So, yeah, I mean, to be honest, NASCAR just gives the middle finger to, to Matt Kenseth and is like, you're out. Go, no goodbye. Which also kind of leads me to thinking that Matt Kenseth will probably will retire at the end of this year. Which, to be honest, it's kind of. Which, to be honest, for any of you Matt Kenseth fans, don't be an Eric Jones fan next. I mean, seriously. I'm an Eric Jones. I mean, I mean, it's like NASCAR race fan 20, 2015. It's like, you know, I mean, like. They, I mean, why would you want to replace Matt Kenseth with Eric Jones? I mean, like, seriously, Eric Jones should be in the Xfinity Series. <sighs> no wonder why I didn't make a diecast of Eric Jones this year. Yeah, suck on that. You got roasted. Nah, just kidding. So, yeah, those drivers, they're all the playoffs, which... Pretty sad, you know, for, for them, you know, all that stuff. But also... But yeah, here, so, yeah, now what's going to happen at Martinsville? So, uh, let's see, probably maybe my Martrix Jr. will probably win at Martinsville. You may never know. I don't really, to be honest, I really don't know what will happen at Martinsville. To be quite honest, you know. Or Texas or Phoenix. Even though people are on that can say, oh. Kyle Busch is going to win. No, Martrix Jr. is going to win. Even though, even though anything could happen. And plus, and plus, let's talk about the guys who's entering round number eight. So we got Matt Kent, Martrix Jr., Kyle Busch, Kevin Harvick. Who was the other guy? Cry, there's another guy. There's Danny Hamlin. Uh, then there's Jimmy Johnson. Uh, let's see, Ryan Blaney. 
Okay, crap. Who else? Chase Elliott and and Brad Keselowski. I went out order there. But yeah, that's that's basically um what the round round um eight is looking like. So yeah. So um whoever you know. So yeah, whoever you know wins at uh. Whoever wins those three races, they're going to Homestead, so. So, yeah. Now, this really should be interesting, considering, uh. Well, we probably know that Martin Tricks Jr. is probably going to be the, this year's champion. I don't know. You you may not expect. Now, well, I think. Well, I, now, will Kyle Bush maybe win his second championship? Mm, I'm not so sure if he could, not if he doesn't get screwed over, you know? Kevin Harvick, can he win his second championship? Well, he's got to be faster, and he's got to prove his talent. He has to prove his talent a little bit, a little bit more in a Ford. And then Danny Hamlin, will, and then, no, Brad Keselowski, will he get his second championship? Well, yeah, you just got to do good, Brad K. So, yeah. And then there's also Jimmy Johnson. Will he win his eighth championship? Eh, I really now this may piss off a lot of Jimmy Johnson fans, but I really don't think he may. He may. I don't think so. I and mean, like, I'm pretty sure a lot of Jimmy Johnson fans when they go to home when they for the SU rounds, they're gonna root for him to be, you know, to win his eighth championship and make freaking history. But I'm not really gonna say he's gonna. But it's I don't know. It could be possible. But will a guy like Danny Hamlin, Brad, uh, Ch Ryan Blaney, or Chase Elliott, will they make it? I don't know. I'm rooting for Chase Elliott. Trying, I want Chase Elliott to win one of these races, you know, before he moves to the 9 next year, which the season is almost ending. You know, at least get a win before you move on to, to the 9 car, really. So, yeah. So overall, guys, that is what... Um, that concludes this episode of NASCAR News Discussions. Thank you guys for watching. Sorry I have not, uh, made this earlier. I just, I was just lazy. Yeah, that's why. I, I was just lazy. So, yeah. Like, comment, subscribe. Tell me what you think of, of this race. And who will be the 2017 champion? MTJ or Johnson? Hmm? So, yeah, but anyways, uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I will see all of you in the next video. Goodbye.